good evening students so let's start with the session students uh, we are going to have a session on analytical reasoning so we are going to discuss some good blocks and logics that you are going to learn so let's start with the first one this one just read the direction students questions will follow this so i think the first question is visible to all of you the directions so solve that set guys so rishab you cannot communicate through voice you can only write that as that will create a lot of disturbance for others so you can write your query at the chat box which i am reading and i will be happy to answer that that's great akash uh, guys i think you all are reading this perfectly okay okay that's great so shall i move on to the questions so that you can answer the question or you want to solve the block first okay the question is this one yeah isba you can solve it even no answers are there i am not going to explain that आप इसको पहले सॉल्व करेंगे देन ओनली आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस ओके गाइस सम ऑफ यू हैव नॉट रेड द इंफॉर्मेशन सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग वन स्लाइड बैक दिस वन विराज देयर इज नथिंग एज सच इन टर्म्स ऑफ रीडिंग कंटीन्यूअसली जस्ट रीड इट वंस एंड यू विल बी क्लियर अबाउट दिस सो देयर आर थाउजेंड डिफरेंट वैरायटीज ऑफ वाइन इन थाउजेंड डिफरेंट कास्केट्स सो ही गेट टू नो दैट वन पर्सन हैज मिक्स प्रिजनर पॉइजन in one of the caskets but that poisonous casket is not known to the king so he handed this responsibility to the minister now there are two particular situations one whosoever takes a single drop from the poisonous one he is going to die and second he will be dying after one month only right now besides that the king has handed over certain a uh, prisoners which you call as tasters to the minister so guys i hope you all have read and understood the directions from here so we should shift our focus to the questions so the question was this one now what i am doing here is just to explain it better so let's see here uh, so guys should i explain this or you want to spend some more time okay so many of you are answering it to be 10 so many of you are not clear about the same rishab says it is 1000 akash i think it is clear to others anika it was that there are 1000 caskets having 1000 different varieties of wine and out of those one casket is poisonous whosoever drinks even a single drop from that casket will die but the person will die after one month right now you need to find they have some tasters given to them and you need to find the poisonous casket okay guys let's solve this question here i hope you all have tried now here students uh hypothetically let me assume as we want to keep the number of prisoners to be minimum let me assume there is only one taster so if i name that taster to be t1 then what is the maximum number of caskets there should be so that the minister is definitely able to find the poisonous casket now we may seem it to be that it is one but it is two students i can say that the drink from c1 will be served to t1 and drink from c2 will be served to nobody so if t1 dies after one month that means c1 is poisonous and if t2 is there that means C two is poisonous. So if there is one taster, you can have two caskets. Now moving one step forward, students. So if there are two tasters, you can serve C one to T one. C two can be served to T two, and C three can be served to both T two and three. and c4 will be served to nobody the crux lies here students if only t1 dies after one month that means c1 is poisonous if only t2 dies that means c2 is poisonous if they both are yes if they both are no more that means c3 is poisonous and if they both are alive that means c4 is poisonous right students sorry yeah i wrote it wrong it is not 2 and 3 it is 1 and 2 here 
so moving on students if you have three tasters if there are three tasters so c1 to c8 if i write here c4 c5 6 7 and 8 you will serve c1 to t1 c2 to t2 c3 to t3 c4 to t1 and 2 t2 and 3 t1 and 3 t1 2 and 3 and nobody so that way students what is the conclusion here that every drink from every casket is served to a different combination of people and from the help of which you can uniquely decide which of the caskets is poisonous so you can conclude now that when there was one taster you were able to verify two caskets when there were two tasters there were four caskets and when there are three tasters there are eight caskets so two raised to the power number of tasters if that is equal to the number of caskets you have you can uniquely find the poisonous casket right students so we can say 2 raised to power which number is more than 1000 students we know 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 right so with 10 tasters the minister will be able to find which of the caskets is poisonous so the answer is the fourth option which is 10 uh, upon it is not the casket they have to drink together you have to give them one drop each the casket is full of wine and you only have to serve one uh, one drop each as per the question one drop is sufficient now atul there is no other approach this question is specifically based on this combination concept you can answer it with the help of this only as a question talks about minimum you cannot make it minimum in any other way yeah that's true that's true but it is to be done like this so that's why you're learning it here so you get that kind of concept try to take a different unique combination of people so that you can answer it right students okay so i hope you all have got the answer to this question no it is not three factorial or two factorial it is two raised to the power exponents given okay students moving on one more question on the same data answer this question some of you are answering it to be 16 some are answering it to be 15 2 raised to power 4 is 16 so the answer will be 16 the people who are thinking this are surely making a mistake a reason being that when you will have four people four tasters and you have 16 caskets when you solve it to the different group of people you will only be solving 15 caskets to 15 different people now as per the statement of the question students yeah yeah hardik you did not hear the complete conversation i said don't think the answer to be 16 because out of 16 you would have only served 15 caskets now if no person dies then you can only say 16th casket is poisonous if that happens to be the last one right but we know there are thousand caskets so if no person dies after one month you can only reject 15 caskets as 16th you have not served it to anybody so the poisonous could be any of the remaining 985 you could have said that the answer is the 16th one if 16th was the last casket but that is not the case you served 15 nobody died you can only reject those 15 which are not poisonous right students so let's move on to one more question yeah kubeer just try and focus here we said if there is only one taster and you have two caskets you can have a look here you can serve c1 to t1 and you can leave c2 as it is so if t1 is no more you can say c1 is poisonous 
and if T2 is there, you can say C2 is poisonous, but only if there are two cascades. Now, when there are two tasters, you can see the combination 1 is given to 1, 2 is given to 2, 3 is given to both 1 and 2, and C4 is given to nobody. So, if only 1 dies, C1 poisonous, only 2 dies, T2, C2 poisonous, both die, C3 poisonous, both are okay, C4 poisonous. Similarly, you can see for the three tasters with eight caskets as well, and so on you conclude that two raised to the power number of tasters, when you have that number to be equal to the number of caskets, from that you can conclude that it is poisonous or not poisonous. So, in order to have all the caskets checked once, you should have 2 raised to power a number which is equal to or more than 1000 caskets. So, the answer comes out to accordingly. So, the student's answer for this was 15. Now, answer this question. So, let's discuss this question. It's a simple one. So, students, there are 9 prisoners. Now, we know 2 raised to power 9 is 512 so minus 1 so if none of them has died this means 511 caskets has been checked so the remaining number of caskets are 489 which is less than 511 right students so does the question or the minister need any extra tasters? We again know 2 raised to power 9 is 512, but the number of caskets left are less than that. So, how many additional tasters are needed? It is 0 tasters. Answer will be second option. Answer this question, students. The last one on this set. That's great. So many of you are answering it right. He broke 772. So, the remaining number is 228. So, we know 2 raised to power 8 happens to be 256. So, as that number is greater than 228, so answer is fourth option, which is 8. Now, Rishabh, there is uh, no simpler logic as such. You want to get to know question number 3. Question number 3, two, when there are 9 Tasters, you have already rejected 2 raised to power 9 minus 1, that is 511 caskets. Now, the remaining caskets are 489, which number is smaller than 511. So, you do not need any additional tasters. As a question talks about additional, so answer is 0. Right, students? So, let's move on to the next question, students. This one. Just read this information. Yes, Divakar, it will be uploaded on YouTube later on. We will work on the same Divakar. Uh, guys, just uh, read the information. Questions will follow after this. It depends upon the question. If there are too many variables, you can avoid that question and maybe select other sets to answer. Or it is just that you need to solve, analyze more and more such sets to get expertise. And otherwise, you don't write Mr. with the first name and you write a Mr. with the second name or the last name defined. Okay, guys, I guess you have read it. Here the main relevant point is time of the day increases on moving towards east and decreases on moving towards west from Greenwich indicated by E and W respectively and the relation is defined as that a 1 degree change in longitude means it's 4 minute change in time period. Yes Rohit you can apply that. Ok students so let's go to the questions on the same. Just read this. In this table all the longitudes have been mentioned with reference to country C whose longitude is given to be 20 degrees west with respect to the original reference that is the Greenwich. Right students? Then comes the question. This table we need to refer so I have pasted it over there with every question. This one. Remember first slide is not needed it just is 1 degree change is 4 minutes change. 1 degree towards east is 4 minutes. Okay. Now see this performance is being organized at Greenwich at 9 o'clock. Now you want to see the country F people. When will they see it? Now students here are seeing it. Country F is given to be 50 degrees east. 
in relation to country C, which is 20 degree west with respect to Greenwich. So, what shall become the position of country F with respect to Greenwich students? Now, in respect to C, F is 50 degree east and C is 20 degree west. So, the net result is that the country is 30 degree east as compared to Greenwich. Now, we know 1 degree means it is a difference of 4 minutes. That is, it is 4 minutes ahead. So, 30 degrees east minute means it will be ahead by 120 minutes. You are talking about the performance took, took place at 9 p.m. So, 120 minutes ahead of that, that is the time at the same time will be 11 o'clock in country F. Yeah, it's an easy question. So, answer is third option. Yeah, Abhishek, so many times the questions like this do appear. This is not a cat question actually. Level you can say depends. Moving on, next question, same data. Rohit, it was 50 degrees east and 20 degree west is the country itself. So, there is a net result of 30 degrees east. And 1 degree east means there is 4 minutes ahead. So, 30 degree east means it is 120 minutes ahead. So, the performance was taking place at 9 o'clock. So, it is 11 o'clock. Yeah, this question students. Again, same logic you need to apply. 2 degree ahead of C means it is 120 minutes ahead. Now, 120 minutes ahead implies... 120 by 4, it is 30 degree east. Now, with reference to Greenwich, you need to calculate. And Greenwich, we know C country given is 20 degrees to the west. So, 30 degree east, 20 degree west. The net result is 10 degrees east. So, it becomes option number 3. Right, students? Moving on, answer this question. Yeah, it's a simple question again, students. If you see carefully, country A and country F, they both are 50 degrees east with respect to country C. So, with respect to country C, they are same. So, with respect to any other country, they will also remain same that way. Because the reference point is given to be country C only. So, that means both the countries follow the same clock. So, 11 o'clock, it takes 2 hours, it will be 1 p.m. in this country as well as in country F. So, it is option 3. Moving on students, the last question on the same set. Country B and D are in the question of Hishek. B is 75 degrees east, D is 27 degrees east. Moreover, just knowing that he has taken the flight doesn't tell us what is the time, what is the distance. Right, so the answer for the question, most of you guessed is perfectly okay. That is fourth option cannot be determined. Right, students? So let's move on to the next question. This set students, just read and answer the question. So is it four or three? So students, an important point worth consideration for analytical reasoning. Students, whenever the question uses the word sure, must, definite, in order to answer such a question, you will always consider yourself unlucky. I did answer earlier as well in one of the other videos, lectures, that whenever the question talks about you have to be sure of, it must happen, it's definite, you will always consider yourself unlucky while answering the question. Now here he has not put up any white ball, at least one black ball. So the question is, how many draws he can be sure of identifying the number of pots having black balls. Now students, it's very much possible here that you don't get a black in the first, in the second and in the third. In that case, you need not see the fourth one. You can definitely say that there is one pot having black ball. But as a question talks about that you have to be sure of you will consider yourself unlucky and considering yourself unlucky you will say maybe you get the black ball in the first pot itself 
maybe you get it in the first maybe you get it in the second maybe you get it in third maybe you get in all three but you definitely see need to see the fourth one as well right so the answer for the question will be four which is given in the fourth option so jab bhi question aapko definite must sure ki baat karta hai aap hamesha apne aap ko unlucky mante hain ye cheez hamesha dimag mein rakhiye okay so let's go to one more question same data uh, yes coach there is only one ball in each one devakar unlucky i explained both the approaches maybe you can get that in three only you don't get a black ball in the first you don't get a black ball in the second you don't get a black ball in the third then you did not see the fourth one you know there is at least one black ball but kyunki question ne sure bola hai yes question ne sure bola hai so we have to consider ourselves unlucky yeah that the condition divakar unlucky means a condition that is happening is something which is not favorable to you so guys i suggest do solve it carefully i'll come to the same point vivek okay let's solve it students the students here the question says minimum number of draws you need to make that could make him identify the colors of all the four balls now students one the question talks about minimum and secondly it is supported by the word or words like can could may might possible in all such cases you have to act always as if you are lucky now the question says there is one white and one black exactly now what is the minimum number of draws so that that could make him identify the colors that could make him so say we know there are four different colors besides white and black red green blue and yellow now hypothetically for the minimum number we can say in the first draw say he gets a red ball in the second draw he gets a blue ball now there is no need for him to see the third and fourth as he has to just identify the colors of all the four balls he is not supposed to disclose exactly that which pot contains which particular ball so the answer for the question shall be 2 which is given in the third option ya yeah, akash if you are reading listening everything i said minimum supported by could right so minimum supported by can could may right possible you will always consider yourself lucky a wo situation imagine karenge jo aapko favor karti hai tejas whenever the question says definite sure must then you consider yourself unlucky whenever there is a word minimum used specifically followed by can could may might possible you consider yourself lucky right so guys the answer here is two which is given in the third option moving on just read the data here atol if the minimum clause is not present that answer could be anything it could be two also three also four also then he will give only one of those three it cannot be one it will be two three or four in that case yeah abhishek you do visit our iift preparation hub you will see the video and the relevant questions and the articles which will help you to prepare for iift exam yeah i suggest the same size for nmat you have preparation hub you can go there see the last year questions we have put in there some articles videos it will help you anika the wording was he can be sure of identifying the colors of all the four balls yeah viraj exactly so guys you all have read it understood harish not necessarily from the first uh, guys i'll not show you the show you the questions just try and get it the number of lockers which will be open and the number of lockers which will be closed after the whole process takes place the questions are just appearing so information you all have read so the information is have been shown to you at the top also the first question you can see yeah rohit is right prime numbers will be closed but not only the prime numbers so guys if you talk about how to solve this question exactly you can see only that student visits a particular locker whose number is equal to one of the factors of the locker number now here i would like to suggest 
that you need to count the number of factors and when you count the number of factors of any number it is always better to write that in terms of pairs say at random you try to think about locker number 20 you try to list the factors of 20 it is 1 into 20 2 into 10 4 into 5 the advantage of doing the same is students that as soon as you are able to recall one factor you do able to find one more factor by same method now here you can see locker number 20 student 1 will open it 2 will close it 4 will open it 5 will close it 10 will open it 20 will close it so similarly you could have taken maybe one more number at random say you talk about locker number 32 it is 1 into 32 it is 2 into 16 it is 4 into 8 that's it again it has six factors the locker will be finally closed so you can judge their students that whenever a number which has even number of factors as opening and closing a locker is a two way process a number which has even number of factors the locker equivalent to that will always be closed now if we try to write the factors in this manner you can conclude further that every number will have even number of factors only as any such factor will multiply itself with another factor to generate the same number if 2 is a factor of 20 it is only when 2 multiplied by 10 gives you 20 and 2 and 10 are both factors of 20 so basically what you realize is that numbers will have factors in terms of pairs only so that tells you that every number will have usually the even number of factors except a number may multiply with itself to generate a specific number in that case even if you write it in pairs the number of factors will not become even rather they will remain odd for example if you take a number say 16 it is 1 into 16 it is 2 into 8 and it is 4 into 4 the 4 is multiplied with 4 to get 16 so the total number of factors 16 have is odd that is it has 5 factors so 16 will be finally open and as soon as you see 16 16 is what kind of a number students you can say it's a perfect square so that means this property will be applicable to all the perfect squares now we know starting from 1 4 9 16 25 how many perfect squares are there till 1000 we know 31 square is 961 so lockers which are equal to those 31 numbers will be finally open and the remaining 969 lockers will be finally close so answer is 969 is that okay students okay moving on one more question this one prime numbers is no different size in this case every prime number will have two factors only so it is even so they will be finally closed ash because prime number only has odd number of factors every prime number has odd number of factors because the biggest uh, factor when you write in terms of pairs multiplies itself with another value which is equal to same only to get the value of the perfect square so answer is coming to be fourth option or third option and some of you are giving it first option also so as most of you are giving the answer to be third option so let's take that into the consideration so answer is third option is a wrong statement upon i just said did you got the number of factors odd concept there so if the number of factors are odd you need to consider that happens only in case of perfect squares now we know you should remember perfect squares up to 32 right so 
31 square is 961. So those 31 perfect squares which fall below 1000, the lockers which are equal to that will be finally open. So students for this one, we know from number, from student number 1 to student number 500, they all will have at least two lockers because the numbers multiplied into two falls within very much the range right but if you talk about from student number 501 we know twice of 501 is 1002 which is beyond the range similarly twice of 502 will be bigger than that and so on so that means the student number 501 to student number 1000 they all will be visiting to one locker only and don't make an error of taking the difference of 1000 and 501 which comes out to be 499 students whenever it is a case of both inclusive it is always their difference plus one so these will be 500 students who will be going to only one locker so the answer is first option raman i said from five uh, one to five hundred every student has its double number also within the locker so wo sab log kam se kam do lockers pe to jayenge hi jayenge but 500 first students double does not appear up to 1000. It is 1002. So all the students which are 501 onwards, they will be visiting only one locker. So the number of students we want to calculate, we will subtract 501 from 1000 and add 1 to the same. So answer will be 500. The students is an important point that whenever it is both inclusive, you always take the difference and then it is done is plus 1 in the same. So, answer is 500. Okay. So, moving on students. One more question. This is a tough one. Same data. So, answer this. Yeah, Rohit is a concept only. You keep on learning till the exam takes place. So, from here you learn a very important factor wherever you talk about the number of factors. It's only perfect square that has odd number of factors. So, answers are coming to be 1 or the 2. That is the first or the second option. So, the answers are coming out to be 89 or 90. So, let's solve it here students. So, talking about the locker number here students. Say we start from 1, 2, 3, 4. And we reach at 940. Then it is 941, 942, 943, dot, dot, dot. 960, 61, 62, then 998, 99, and 1000. So, students, the whole point worth consideration here is can you say all the lockers till locker number 940 would have acquired their final position as <clears throat> none of the following students is going to visit to any locker till locker number 940. So that means they all are at their final position that is close, close, sorry, first one will be open, close, close, open and then it will be close and even 940 will be finally close. We know up to 940, there are 30 perfect squares which will be open and there are 910 other numbers which will be closed. Now students the question arises for the remaining 60 lockers starting from 941 to 1000. Now just try and judge here. Can we say that locker, uh, sorry let's understand it reverse. Let's go to their final position students. Have the question not been talking about their position right now, but their position when all the students have taken place, we know what will be their position. Their position will be, it will be close, 
क्लोज 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 ओपन एंड देन इट विल बी ऑल क्लोज अगेन इज दैट फाइन स्टूडेंट्स वेन ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हैव टेकन देयर टर्न वी नो दैट आफ्टर नाइन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी only 961 will be open and rest all will be closed but can you say the all lockers have one visit left on them that is i may write it as their pre final position that is one step before final now we know because one position is left before this that has to take place so this means their positions will be exactly reverse of the position at the end as there are only two positions so the locker which has to be finally closed will be open now and the lockers which has to be finally open will be closed now so the 60 lockers that we are talking about students out of that 59 will be open and one will be close so just for your reference the locker which will be close it will be locker number 961 which is a perfect square so let's answer this question students there are 30 lockers which are open there and there are 59 lockers which are open here and the sum of the two happens to be 89 so the second option becomes your answer right so anika kritika just try and understand that when all the students have taken their turns we know only the perfect squares will be open and after 940 there is only one perfect square which is 961 which will be open so that means if i take their final position to be all close starting from 941 till 1000 except 961 which will be open their one step earlier position will be exactly reverse of the same because there are only two positions so that means the remaining 59 will be open and 961 will be closed so 51 Plus thirty gives you a total of eighty nine lockers which will be open. Right, students? So you all are clear about the same. Okay. So let's move on. There is one more question. Uh, Niru, just read the question. See, nine forty students have taken their position. They have taken their position means locker number nine forty till locker number nine forty. They all have attained their final stage. Because your nine forty first student will go. He will only go to nine forty first locker. Pe hi ओके, बिकॉज अप टू 940 सारे स्टूडेंट्स अपना टर्न चल चुके हैं सो दैट मीन्स लॉक स्टूडेंट नंबर 941 विल ओनली विजिट लॉकर नंबर 941, 42 विल ओनली विजिट 42 एंड सो ऑन सो 940 फोर्टी वुड हैव अटेंड देयर फाइनल पोजिशन या या मनीष दे आर ऑफ कैट लेवल स्लाइटली हायर रैदर यू कैन से ओके मूविंग ऑन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स now it's a simple question i can see so many right answers great 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 so you only need to see the perfect squares so 144 we know is the square of 12 729 square of 27 answer becomes option number 4 which includes the both okay students so let's go to the next set so just read the direction students sayesh know the difficulty level is different cat creates more a uh, pressure as such in terms of time and all because the number of questions is more these days but quant there are certain questions which are of higher difficulty level in case of zat the reasoning level is tougher in case of zat the quant level sometimes depends last year the cat quant was easy zat quant was again up to the mark but there are lesser questions to be done yeah devakar just read it i'll explain it so rohit has defined by them on the tutorials the number of questions are going to remain the same so i hope you all have read that information so a and b are playing so anybody can pick 1 2 3 4 5 the player who picks the last stick will always lose so here is the question so i mean if you are answering it to be 3 so some of you are clear about the concept that we use in this case so shall we discuss it students okay See, just try and understand the concept here. You will always want your opponent to lose. 
so the best strategy is to start it backwards can you say you want in the end it should always be the opponent who should play and you have to leave only one stick for him to pick can you leave two sticks for the last step for him to pick no because in that case he will pick one and make you lose it so you have no other option but to leave one for your opponent now before opponent it's your turn before that it is again opponent so this is how the turns will take place so can you take say that after you it will be opponent you and opponent you and opponent and so on so try to apply concept students that which number can be always consumed if your turn comes after your opponent's turn can i say when opponent has taken his turn and it is your turn you both as a team can always consume 6 in this case why you can consume 6 in this case because if the opponent will pick 1 you will pick 5 for his 2 you will pick 4 3 3 4 2 5 1 5, which is basically nothing but the sum of min plus max possible so again you can see here you can again consume 6 you can again consume 6 you can again consume 6 mind it we have already left the last one for the opponent so what becomes the mini winning mantra over here winning mantra over here becomes that you need to make a multiple of 6 before the opponent's turn plus 1 and that will make show that you always win the game Then we six is the sum of min and max, right? Now, as some of you said, Gauri, you are saying why not they can pick two and two? See, mind it, you have to make a strategy to win the game, right? If you plan only for two and two, what if your opponent picks three, or he picks four, or he can pick five? Even he will try to win that game. Yeah, you have to consider them intelligent. so we know that when opponent takes place his turn takes place and then it is your turn as a team you can always consume min and max and the answer shall be you have to make a multiple of min plus max before his turn plus 1 which will be left for his last turn and that will make sure that you will always win the game now here it were 40 match 6 students now the sum of 1 and 5 is 6 now multiple of 6 less than 40 comes out to be 36 which is 6 into 6 now plus 1 that means there should be 37 matchsticks which will make sure that you win the game rohit don't add 3 you have to add 1 so that means a will pick 3 and it is sure that he will game after that whatever strategy b applies right students so moving on there is one more question on the same this upon the concept is derived from that only that you have to make such a number which can always be consumed and it can only and only be the sum of min and max as you can only control yourself and you cannot control your opponent right students here it is 25 matrix so we know 25 is already of the form of 6k plus 1 so we can see here that a cannot win the game as we have to consider b also rational and so that he will always try to win the game upon in that case nothing will happen to you something will happen to your opponent only he should not play that kind of game again okay one more question this one there were 25 total no the minimum was 1 the maximum was 5 so the total min of max is 6 so if a has picked 2 b has to pick 4 so the answer is the fourth one so gauri you have got the concept here okay students let me add one more point here in the last so many times the question is actually that whosoever picks the last he wins the game exactly viraj swati it was this only a very good morning to you swati it was the last pick loser only okay if the last pick is the winner students then the one that we added additionally in the end we have to avoid that 
in case last pick is a winner you have to make a multiple of min plus max before the opponent's turn and that's it yeah it will be 6k in this case okay now let's go and solve the last set for the day students just read the information okay guys let's take a minute here rishab if i say minimum you can put 1 here and say maximum is given to be 7 right say uh, rishab has to start the game and the total is given to be 44 so guys you all can answer how many should rishab pick to win the game last pick is a winner last pick is a winner in this case students now i made i gave a new question viraj minimum 1 maximum 7 now guys why harish you should pick 1 i gave you the directions last pick is a winner we know the sum of min and max is 8 now which is a multiple of 8 which is less than 44 it is 40 so that means he should pick 4 in the first turn so answer will be 4 gauri i just explained the concept as the last pick is a winner here so you have to leave a multiple of min plus max before the opponent's turn if the last pick is the loser i have already explained tanvi good morning that concept we already covered in that case it, the answer will be three yes okay guys uh, let's go to the last set and cover it this is the direction that you all were studying atul you can definitely pick two if your opponent picks six you have to pick two in that case that's why we have not added one in this case you might have to pick even 7 in that case Atul. In the last turn there will be 8 left. If your opponent picks 1 you might have to pick 7 in that case. You have to make total 8. 8 bache huye honge last group. Mein. So for his 1 you will pick 7. For his 7 you will pick 1 and so on. So guys is the last set here. Just read it once before we switch further to a few more directions on the same. So you all have read. Machine is such that each switch supplies two different drinks and each drink is supplied by two different switches. If two switches are turned on, the common drinks, if there are any common drinks, they will nullify each other and they will not come out. So you can take a multiple or the right combination of switches. So let's go and see the directions for switches. Yoga, you have to, it is not for one simple drink, it is for four questions right. The hard work that you are doing. So guys, you basically have to answer in such case which switch supplies what to drink. So are you able to catch the right thread students? Questions will follow. Questions I told Abhishek. You have to answer which drink supplies which dr uh, are supplied by which switch. Or which supplies what to drink. So let's solve it students. You will learn so many things in this set also. So here students, I have made this small table. Let's solve it here. You all please focus and listen what I am saying. See the first important point given here is it states that switch 1 do not supply dew 2 do not supply limka 3 does not supply thumbs up 4 doesn't supply Fanta and 5 doesn't supply Pepsi. Now students very importantly see to it here can I say because every switch supplies two different drinks so we can say every row will have two ticks and every row will have three crosses two ticks for the drinks it supply and three crosses for the drinks it does not similarly every column because every drink is supplied by two switches so every column will have three crosses and two ticks two ticks for the switches it is supplied by and four for the switches it is not supplied by now let's read and understand it students abhishek i am only saying every row will have two ticks and every column will have two tricks two ticks sorry because every switch supplies two drinks and every drink is supplied by two switches. Similarly, two ticks means there will be three crosses, crosses as well. Now see, just understand, first direction says, 1 and 3 we get dew and fenta. What does that mean? That simply means that 
if dew is supplied by one of the two switches one and three fanta will be supplied by the other and there will be one common drink which has been nullified now mind it one does not supply dew so can you conclude from there that three supplies dew and one supplies fanta and three does not supply fanta students that's why fanta has come out because dew one supply nahi karta hai that means three supply karta hoga aur one jo hai wo fanta supply karta hoga jo three nahi karta hoga that's why dew and fanta have come out and there is one drink common now students can that one drink common be thumbs up now three does not supply thumbs up that means even one will not be supplying thumbs up because the common drink has to be the one in which both are supplying the same so i have written a hint here one drink is common and we move further students one more direction and the table is almost done b direction has vivek what you are not getting we said one supply one does not supply dew so three supplies it so one supplies fanta and three does not supply it and the common drink has to be that which is both having a tick both switches will have tick in front of that but three is not supplying that question is here only in front of you see three does not supply thumbs up so that means even one cannot supply thumbs up aru the wordings was just that one common drink one drink is supplied every drink is supplied by two switches and every switch supplies two drinks okay students now b direction has three switches so we can just ignore it because it will create complexity come to the c direction and your job will be almost over one and two we get thumbs up and pepsi see students one and two thumbs up and pepsi one does not supply thumbs up so two would supply thumbs up so can you say pepsi will be supplied by the first one and second will not supply this getting it because one and two you get thumbs up and pepsi one does not supply thumbs up so two supply thumbs up and one supplies pepsi now can you say switch number 1 2 ticks have already appeared so we can put a cross here right students now you can say 1 and 3 uh, sorry 1 and 2 only gave you thumbs up and pepsi mind it fanta has not appeared whereas one supplies fanta also so this means fanta has been nullified so fanta is being supplied by two also so with that the fanta column has two ticks so we can put a cross here so with that switch number 2 has two ticks so we can put a cross here now students we can say the common drink between 1 and 3 can only and only be pepsi so we can put a tick in front of switch number 3 below pepsi so with this pepsi column is already having two ticks so you can put a cross here switch number 3 already has two ticks so you can put a cross here and limka already has three crosses over here so we can put two ticks over here so you can see students 90% of the table is ready because mukul we have already specified over here that one and three have one drink common right now students just follow the direction number d which says with 1 and 4 we get limka thumbs up fanta and pepsi fanta and pepsi has come from the first one so that means uh, limka and thumbs up has to come from the fourth one so limka is already there so we can put a thumbs up tick over here with this you can have a cross here as four number switch both ticks are already there 
thumbs up both ticks are already there so we took cross here and we get a tick here so the answer is there in front of you very much so out of the six directions given students you only need to apply three and you get it the whole idea was to be ready with this here that there will be two ticks and three crosses in every row as well as in every column abhishek you want to see the whole table again okay let's make it here quickly for all of you so just and understand here students once again i'm doing it so it is switch number 1 2 3 4 5 it is d l t f and p so it was very much given that one doesn't supply due Two doesn't supply Limca, three doesn't supply Thumbs Up, Fanta, and Pepsi. Right now here, one and three give you Dew and Fanta. My dear students, one does not give Dew, so that means Dew will be given by three. So that means Fanta will be given by one. That means Fanta will not be given by three. and mind it we have already clear there have to be two ticks and three crosses in each row and in each column now there has to be one drink common students that common drink means you'll have a tick in front of one and three but three has a cross in front of thumbs up this means that common drink cannot be thumbs up i can put a cross over here now students after that just go to direction number c it says one and two we get thumbs up and pepsi mind it one does not have thumbs up so two will have thumbs up so that means one will have pepsi and two will not have pepsi now with this switch number 1 and 2 have their sorry switch number 1 has its both ticks ready so we can put a cross here now students with 1 and 2 you get a thumbs up and pepsi and fanta has not come so that means fanta has been nullified you can put a tick over here in front of fanta with this switch number 2 is also ready so we put a cross over here now the common drink between 1 and 3 we wrote earlier can only and only be pepsi so you put a tick over here so switch number 3 is also ready we can put a cross over here pepsi column is ready we can put a cross over here limca column already three crosses so who can put two ticks over here and then you take d direction which says 1 and 4 will give you limca thumbs up fanta and pepsi now fanta pepsi limca so it has to be a thumbs up over here so we can put a cross here with this thumbs up column put a cross here fanta column put a cross here and put a tick here fanta cancel from 1 and 2 because it is says when you click 1 and 2 you only get thumbs up and pepsi you don't get any fanta means fanta is cancelled out right students So I hope you would have learned something out of this session and will be able to apply in DI and AR sections. Yeah, Raman, you can just have a look for your reference. It was this. Yeah, exactly. Upon that was the basic, very basic crux of the question. Okay, guys. So thank you, thank you so much, Hardik. So we ended it here. Okay, bye. Thank you.